Hello, welcome to another episode of Mac Minute. And this week, we are still a little bit in the new Mavericks features. But this isn't really Mavericks, this is iLife. So we're, today we're gonna talk about iPhoto and a feature in iPhoto called Smart Albums. So in the past, you could always take pictures and put them into albums. And basically, iPhoto organizes things in two ways. By default, it organizes things by events, which is time-based. So an event could be a couple of days. And you can say this event, you give it a name. And if it's, say you're a vacation and it's seven days, you can combine all the seven days into one big event and all those would be defined by an event. You can then take them and put them individually into an album or albums multiple times, where events, it's only in one event. And they've added a new feature called a smart album. And we're gonna walk through that today and it allows you to use some logic to create an album. So let's go in here and, and take a look at this. We're gonna go down and we're going to start up iPhoto. And here is iPhoto and you can see I have photos in here. Um, I don't use this computer for all my photos, I use a different computer, but there's enough in here that we're going to be able to do uh, 377, we'll be able to get some uh, pictures in here. So. We're going, to go down here and we're going to right click and like this, and we're going to say a new smart album. So when you define a smart album, the album there's rules. So this is our smart album, so we're going to call it our smart album. And you have all these conditions. So it has to match these conditions. So in the example, if album is, and you can say any of these other albums or is not, for example, where you can say any text so if you have a certain words you want in your photos, you can put in what words to look for, or does not contain, or is equal to, or is not equal to, or starts with, or ends with. These are all conditions for text. And we have descriptions, dates, particular events, particular faces. Like, I don't know if I have any faces in here. I don't have any face, I don't have any face people in here, so I can't even pick that right now. Uh, a file name or keyword by a particular rating, so maybe you want your five-star rating pictures to be in a particular album, by a particular place you visited, by a particular individual photo, and you can do multiple conditions, so, or by a particular title. And you can also do by camera model, by flash, it's aperture, focal length, ISO, shutter speed. If you want to, if you're a professional photographer, you may want to see how certain things are working, uh, or different, what cameras are working the best, so you want to see, pick your different camera models into different albums, compare them, things like that. There's all kinds of things you can do uh, if you're a professional that you want to sort out your stuff. But what we want to do, just to give a great example here, is do by date. So what I want to do is I want to create a smart album for all pictures of from 2013. So I'm going to say the date is after the first of 2013. So let's get rid of it down here to the first of 2013, but before the first of 2014. So I'm going to say date is before and the first. of 2014. So this should take all my photos. Now you can see the other things, options that are in here, is in the last, is not in their last, is in the range. So um, you can probably make this, let's try this and see what it does. I've never tried this. Oh, so I could do this. So I have after or before, I'm gonna get rid of this line, and I'm going to say is in the range of the 1st of 2013. to the 1st of 2014. Just like that. All right, here's my smart album. So all these pictures are in this smart album are in this date range. So if I would import more pictures from last year that I hadn't yet put in here, they would show up into this list or this album of photos, just like this. So that's the new smart album feature. That's not necessarily related to Mavericks, but it is a new iPhoto feature which came out with Mavericks. So it kind of goes along with our list of new features in Mavericks. All right, that's it for MacMint this week. We'll see you next week. For show notes for this show, contacts, and more, go to the techzen.tv website where you can get show notes for all of our shows. We love to hear from our viewers and listeners. We have an email, a Twitter, and a phone number where you can contact us for each show. For details, visit the techzen.tv website and get the show details. You can also make a video and upload it somewhere like YouTube or Vimeo and then just send us a link. You never know, you may see your video in a future show. You can get all of our shows delivered automatically to your favorite device by going to your favorite podcast website like iTunes and subscribing. 
Each of our shows also has a YouTube channel you can subscribe to to get regular updates. Our shows are also available on most internet radio networks like Stitcher and TuneIn Radio. You can also watch and listen to our shows on Xbox, TiVo, and Roku. You can even find us on your Zoom.